Hello everyone. Today we are going to start chapter 4, The Great Indian Desert. In this lesson, we will learn about Location of the Great Indian Desert Its climate, vegetation and irrigation system Indira Gandhi Canal Camel, ship of the desert Life of the people and places of tourist interest in Rajasthan. Now, let's learn what is a desert. A desert is a flat area covered with sand. It has very little vegetation. It receives little or no rainfall. A desert is any large region that gets very little rain every year. Very few plants or animals live in desert areas. Location of Great Indian Desert Rajasthan lies to the southwest of Northern Plains. The Aravali Hills divide Rajasthan into two parts. The eastern part and the western part. Eastern part of Rajasthan is quite fertile. The river Chambal flows in this region as you can see in this map. The western part of Rajasthan is rocky and sandy. Western part of Rajasthan is known as the Indian Desert or the Thar Desert. Formation of the Thar Desert The Thar Desert was formed due to low rainfall and heavy soil erosion. The Thar Desert spreads from the Aravli Hills to the border of Pakistan in the west and from run of Kutch in the southwest to the border of Haryana in north. In the west, it forms a part of Sin Desert in Pakistan. Soil erosion, it is the washing or blowing away by water or wind of the top layer of soil. Let's learn about the climate. The desert region remains hot and dry throughout the year. In summers, the nights are cool and days are hot. In winters, the days are warm and the nights are very cold. There is very little rainfall in this region because some deserts are near the equator where the air is very dry. Some deserts are in the middle of continent. By the time the winds get there, it has little moisture. Some deserts are near the mountains that block the rain. Let's learn about sand dunes. In the deserts, wind shifts sand from one place to another to form small mounds called sand dunes. As you can see in this picture. Let's learn about sand storms. Sometimes strong winds blow away the sand with great speed. They are called sand storms. As you can see in this picture. Now let's learn about soil erosion. The winds cause great damage to the soil. They blow away the top soil. This type of damage to the soil is called soil erosion. Due to soil erosion, the large area of desert is dry and barren. Trees do not grow in the desert because the climate is very hot and dry and it rains little. Sometimes it does not rain for many years. Now that's it for today. Have a nice day.